Okay, so this is really crazy, y'all. So Darcy and I are sitting here. We're just finishing something else that we are working on. And she's like, all right, I got to talk to you about Immortals of the Dark. So she starts laying on this, not theory, but something that she noticed. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. We need to go live with this. She goes, okay, we got to make it quick, though. I got things to do. I, was, I understand. But this this is exactly what we're talking. This is why we created the YouTube channel. And she's like, okay, let's go. So here we are. <laughs> so we're going to make this quick. But we're going to okay. have fun with it. Because um, just quick recap, we're all reading Immortals After Dark by Cresley Cole. Um, I am on Shadows In anticipation Claim. of the release of Monroe on January 25th. Yes. yes. I am on Shadows Claim. I love it very much. The Dacian. One of my favorites. It's one of my favorites for sure. And you can totally see, like, especially now, but this is like my seventh or eighth reread. Yeah. Like, everything, just, just everything perfectly in place. And so you just said it absolutely just perfectly as you're reading um, Conrad and Naomi's story. So yeah. that's so it's four. Is it dark? To, it's five. Oh, it's five. It's five. Because I didn't um, read. I, I I mean, it's four to me because I don't yeah. count. Um, it's Dark Deeds. What's the title? Dark Needs at Night's Ed. Edge yeah. and something like that. Ed, I'm not um, sure. Okay. So here's what I noticed. All okay. right. So let's, let's go. Let's go. Okay. So even though, I, oh, it's just me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I've not read a Warlord, a Warlord once forever. I didn't read it. Um, just being perfectly honest there. I might go back and read it later, but I'm not having it ready yet. Um, so <clears throat> Mist and Nikolai mm -hmm. have to happen. That has to be, the, this is the, like, for lack of a better word, like the pin that holds everything together. So it's like, the rock that starts the avalanche. Yes. It's like, this is the, this is the first domino that falls that starts the whole series. Yeah. Okay. So that has to happen so that she can be missed the vampire layer, um, which is hilarious. Um, so when she so when she falls in love with uh, Nikolai, that's the first domino because that breaks the tension. That that one, like it's one of those things where like it's the butterfly effect. That one thing changes everything. So Nick's needed that match to happen. So once that match happened, then. Let's not remember. Let's not forget that she sent she sent Lachlan to go find his mate. She sent, and that's how he got captured. She sent Emma to Paris. She knew where he was. She knows where the vampire's eternal fire is. Like she knows. So then Lachlan has to escape to find Emma. If that hadn't happened, if she hadn't done that, then Emma wouldn't have been there to kill her husband or her dad. Yeah. Um, then, uh, so that, and that's like a huge thing because that makes way for the forbear king to take the throne, which is her second cousin. Which, um, by the way, if you go back to Nikolai and Mist, that introduces the forebears to the lore. Right. Like they, they, cause they weren't allowed to tell the forebears anything. Right. So that's, so that happens. Then, so that, so like, that's the major key in, in Lachlan and Emma's story is that Emma kills, what's his name? Uh, I keep wanting to say Droxulio, but that's not it. I keep, I keep wanting to say Daciano and that's not right either. It's, no, um, not it. it's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. It's fine. Going. Um, so that happens. So if she hadn't, um, so then she has to do that. If she doesn't kill him, then that doesn't make way for the forebearers to make the vampires the good side being on the good side of the accession or good guys. So that's the key in Lachlan Emma story. And if that hadn't happened, then also if Nikolai and Mist hadn't gotten together, Sebastian wouldn't have had a place to go back to, to get ready for everything with, with, uh, Katerin. Um, like he wouldn't have a place, he wouldn't have any kind of like reference basically. Um, and then, it, yes, you need to read these books in order. Also, tons of spoilers in this. Heads up. Lots of spoilers. Yeah. Um, uh, so, and then if it hadn't been for, let's see, what was it? I, I figured it out. Um, so, if Katerin hadn't lost her sisters, she wouldn't have become Katerin the cold-hearted. She wouldn't have gone out of her way to kill Sebastian, right? So then, which, Sebastian had to be part of the high, so that way Bowen wouldn't win. Right. So Sebastian has to go compete in the high so that Bowen wouldn't win. Um, and then hang on just a second. My husband needs to be a second. No, I... 
Okay. And like, I'm right. looking. Um, so if Sebastian doesn't compete in the high, which he wouldn't have done unless of Katarin. So if Sebastian doesn't compete in the high, then Bowen would have jumped into the fire, the pit of fire that would have killed him. And then Bowen wouldn't have found Maricata. So it had to be in this order. So then Sebastian has to save Bowen. Ba basically, by defeating Bowen, he saves Bowen's life because otherwise Bowen would have won the high, would have gone back to save his mate, and then would have lived a life of misery. If he had done that, Mariketta would have died in the tomb that he placed her in. She would never have come into her powers. And then Mariketta, the awaited, would not have completed the task that she needed to do, which was defeating Hexa. So then she defeats Hexa and gains her powers. And then she, so she gains Hexa's powers. If it hadn't been for that, if she hadn't gained Hexa's powers, she wouldn't have released her parents, which I think is going to come into play. I think her parents are going to come into play. Um, released her parents from their prison. And then, so Mariketta has Hexa's power. So if that hadn't happened, then when Conrad meets Naomi, she would not be able to make Naomi the phantom. Without Naomi being the phantom, Conrad can't access the memories that he needs because he needs to be blooded because he needs her to stay sane. So without Naomi, so without Mariketta, Naomi doesn't become a phantom. Without the phantom, Conrad can't access the memories that he needs from the warlock that knows how to defeat Omar the, Omar the Deathless. So mm -hmm. then Rydstrom can't get his kingdom back, which means Rydstrom and Sabine's situation would happen. But Sabine needs to be there because Sabine also needs Omar to die. Mm -hmm. So without Conrad... Then, yeah, go ahead. So without Conrad, Rydstrom can't do his thing. But Rydstrom can't do his thing until Kadeon does... His thing with Holly mm -hmm. and Holly, you have to have Holly do that because Holly defeats. I can't think of his name. Holly. Holly's the vessel. Yeah. But she remember, she's like, Holly's my favorite. Cause she oh, yeah. was human and took out like a dude that no one could take out. And she's like, she took out him and, and a, uh, like a group of me of undead. No, it was, um, first off Demestru. And then, um, <laughs> Oh goodness! Okay, hold on. I'll look. I, I What's know his name. He's no, super evil. No, it's Omar. But then she. It was like a, a flock of. Um... It's a herd of something. It's like, yeah, but it's not. And they're like super. It's like werewolves, but not werewolves or something. Hold on. I will. I will. I will get it. Um, um but it's not. Purple? She's not taken to Omar the Deathless. That's not. No, who, not Omar. Oh, that's not what who Holly's taken to. That's not that who. Called? I don't know. Was that Kadeon dark? doesn't take her to Omar. He takes her to right some other warlock. Right. Um. Not. Oh. Yeah. Um. Hold on. Hold on. It's gonna come to me. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hold on. Um. Holy demon Groot. Groot the metallurgist. Yes, Groot the metallurgist. Because he has, he's like done like clockworks to dead people and they're right. like impossible to kill. Yes. And Kadeon leaves her, which right. by the way, in the book that I'm currently reading, Conrad and Holly, Holly, Nyx, when or Naomi, 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 when Nyx meets with Kadeon and Rydstrom, she says, what do you want? Your fated mate? or your kingdom. And right. he says kingdom and she's disappointed in him. She goes, you just changed the fate of your lives. The st she tells them and she looks straight at Katie and she said, what would you be willing to give up to give your brother his throne back? And he said, anything. She said, your life. And he said, yeah, that's easy. And she said, your fated mate. And he swallows and he says, yes. And he has to do it. Mm -hmm. Like Nick knew he'd have to do it. She didn't think he would, but he did. Yeah. So like Nick saw that coming three, but like, that right. is the thing. So without, okay, so without Mariketta, we don't have um, Naomi. Without Naomi, we can't get to how to kill Omar. Without, um, and that that's that's contingent on the fact that you have to get the sword from um, the metallurgist. So that Groot. Groot. So Groot. So and that introduces with, to Sabine and Lanthe. Right. That introduces us. Right. So that introduces Sabine and Lanthe. And now you so go to the... the McCree, Sabine you know. tricking Rydstrom mm -hmm. puts him in a situation where he is able to go kill Omar the Deathless. Uh -huh. 
So, but without, but he can't do that until Holly defeats the metallurgist. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't have done that without Naomi and Conrad. So right. that's how Holly does it. Right. Without Holly, we can't get rides from the sword that gives him the ability to get in. Without that, Sabine can't, this is my favorite part of the book, big spoiler, turn everyone invisible and Kadeon can kill everyone. That's like the best thing favorite ever. Favorite part of the book. <laughs> Dave, Dave and I were reading that one and he was like, rewind it. I got to hear it again. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. Um, best Which part of is also when we get introduced to Hag. Uh-huh. So Hag and Lanthe, those are two big ones that were introduced to then. Because then it takes a jump and you go back to Lachlan's brother and Lucia. Who is that one next? I thought, um, I thought it was the last Roth brother. The Untouchable? Yeah. Um, oh, John, that's John, John tell me I have to go. Hold on. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, but then you still, but you still, it's still a domino. Like you have all yeah, of that. Like you have to have this to have this to have this yeah. to have this. Yeah. So like all of that. Has to yeah. It's quite interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm loving it. I think there's more to do. Like I know that in Shadows Claim, the, the Lyke that's in there that has the warlocks have him. I know they keep saying he's, he's a human turned Lyke, but are they told that or are they just assuming yes. that? No, they're told that because he dies. No, I know he dies, but my question is, I, I I don't I don't know where they're where they say they're told that they're just like oh this is what these warlocks are doing so they aren't told that this particular Lyke is a human turn turn Lyke even though I mean it makes sense my whole point here is obviously that has to do with McCreeve and Monroe it all builds into each other because all of this is commingling all with one another but I think we're gonna be going back to this scene in Monroe I think. As the time travel stuff happens, I think, happens, so. I I think, think we're so. coming. I think we'll go back to that in Monroe, but I don't know. I don't know that it is Monroe, but I would, no, I don't think it is Monroe. I don't think it's Monroe, but I think it is a like a Monroe turned. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that will be the. I think that will be the twist. There's something there. There's something there. I don't know. I'm very excited about it. It's it's very very cool. Um, I would love to know what all of your thoughts are on all of this. Hopefully, you guys even read this because there's lots of spoilers. Um, but it is. It just goes from one to the next to the like next. That which, domino which, effect is oh, like. I have one for you. Yes. Shadows claim the Dacian yeah. has the crystal that can see where anybody is. Why isn't he looking up where the lost queen of the Valkyrie is? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Because all he has to do, he has to know what they look like. Mm -hmm. And he has and he to just kind there. of... Uh-huh. Um, I don't know, but I think that they, they need two ways to get to her. And I think the stone is one. And I think that um, Lanthe is the other because Lanthe yeah. finds her. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyways, yeah. just throwing that out there too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm very 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 interesting all of it's very interesting it's a lot okay. of it's a lot of world building yeah for real okay for real. all right i have got to i'm just checking the questions here hi guys some of you jumped in here late uh happy to see you here i feel like i need to read this series it's better to read them in order red hooked yes um can you read them out of order yes but if you read them in order, you're going to see they all go like it all they, comes together. Like they're, they're all, all like overlap. You, yeah. Like if you wanted to read just one book, you could. They all like they yeah. end and that's the story. Yeah. But like the overarching story of the accession is in all of yeah. them and they all build. Yeah. Like there are some of the stories where in, in the story previous to the one you might be on, you're you're like going back in time, but you don't. Like you're, 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 it's like, oh, this is happening over here. But wait, while this was happening, this was happening. Yeah. You know, a lot like, of the stories are concurrent. Yes. So it's like pretty awesome. while Sebastian's in the high, Gareth and Lucia are in South America. Amazon. I think. The Amazon. Yeah. The Amazon. Sorry. The mm -hmm. Amazon. And then while Conrad is courting Naomi, uh, the last Roth brother and his mate are also doing their, th like there's, it's all concurrent. And so yeah. like, it's hard to tell how much time has actually passed. We don't right. know exactly how much time has passed from book one to book 19. Right. right. Um, and Shadow's claim, he's in the process of getting uh, Lothair mm -hmm. back in. La mm -hmm. Dorada hasn't been revealed yet, but they've been talking about it because that's what mm -hmm. they're talking about. Um, it's just, it's, it's amazing. 
Yeah. Nix is the master of them all. All right. She I got to go. I got to go pick up stuff for Christmas. Um, all right. Food for Christmas. Food for Christmas. Okay. I get that. All right. I love you, Darcy. And Merry Christmas to you. And um, just 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 a few more sleeps until Monroe. Just a few more sleeps until I got to read faster. All right. So I'd love to know your guys' theories. Let us know in the comments below. And um, we'll check you out next time. All right. Okay. That's what this is. Just random. Random. <laughs>